I don't know if Abby is happy with this campsite. I am about ready to explode. <laughs> this is really? like, yes. So you guys are gonna like this one. I love this. I am sitting here, I have my binoculars. Oh, fire pit right there. And I am looking out there at bison. You are. There's also antelope out there because we're on Antelope Island. Antelope Island. Yay. We weren't sure if there was going to be antelope. Look, let's look at the campsite right here. This yeah. is just insane. Yeah. Really, really gorgeous out here. Look at the snow-capped Rockies over there. So that's Salt Lake in that direction. Salt Lake City, I mean. This place is... And I know the GoPro can't really show it, but there's two bison straight, straight that way. And then out that way, there's a bunch of antelope out there. So that is really cool. And uh, we got the video. This is as happy as I get, I think, for a campsite. So <laughs> I'm hoping that they kind of wander over they're here gonna, so Abby can gonna. check them out right here in the, you know, the backdrop. Oh, I'm so excited. This is amazing. You did good on this site. I wasn't sure how we were going to like it. I had no idea what it was going to be. And um, it but turned out is... to be a, a really nice site. When I, when I went to book this, there was only a small handful of these sites available. Yeah. This was one of the sites. There was a couple along this row that were available. And this one, I picked it because it's basically at the end here. We don't have anybody next to us. Yeah. I just, this is incredible. I mean, this is, uh, so it's electric and water. Yeah, only. this campground is electric and water. There, I don't, there's another campground just to the north of us there, another loop. I don't remember if they have water and electricity. And I know there's another campground a little bit further that way too. That one is straight primitive. There's no hookups so at that That's what one. I was expecting out here. So, I, But I'm, I think this may be a newer campground that they have developed here. Yeah. It all looks new. The concrete it looks does. new. This is all new. So I don't know how long this has been here. But so we do have water and power. Yeah. But honestly, I told Abby, I'm thinking about, you know, turning the breaker off for the power. 
and let's go ahead and give our solar and our battery a test to see how it's going to do out here while you know while we're hooked up anyway so anyway i might mess with that later look at my outdoor camp kitchen right here look at this it's perfect so we're going to be getting the uh, pit barrel fired up today as well as the little hasty bake i'm going to do a slab of st louis style ribs and we're going to do some veggies in the hasty bake and we're going to sit here and just enjoy this um wonderful beautiful view yes of the great salt lake this is really amazing yes that was a cool drive across the causeway to get out here i just it's almost comical how beautiful this place is <laughs> i'm really glad I'm, I'm really glad that you uh like it because i was yes. a little nervous you know i knew it was going to be great but you never know until you, you get out here know. so there is an air force base over by salt lake city we've been We've been hearing some of the jets uh, come by, the fighter fighter jets. Sweet. I'm just giving you guys another peek at the campground right here. So this is the Bridger Bay campground, by the way. They got three cabins over there you can rent. And there's quite a few campsites and they're nicely spread out. You're not right on top of your neighbors here. So all these sites here in Bridger Bay have uh, water and power hookups and they do have uh, bath houses here too. So you can use the, the showers and the restrooms there in the bathhouse. Starlink is doing well. I hooked that up Very well. as soon as I got here and, uh, and it's going. I'm loving it. This is great. Yeah. We, I was going to say we both should probably be working. No, look at this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to be working on thing. some dinner. Please do. It's what I'm going to do. Please do. But we are going to just kind of vibe. Yeah. Hang out here at the camp and uh, cook some dinner and just enjoy ourselves. So we're here for three days. Yes. I think we're here for three days. Yes. And, uh, we're not really sure what we're going to do. They did give us a map when we came in, so we got to look at the map. There's some drives you can take, you know, scenic drives, and I plan on doing that. And some hiking trails. They have a lot of hiking trails here. That's I know a... for sure I want to go down to the water, so we'll have to get that in. Yep. But um, I think we're going to be doing a lot of this. On this. Yeah, this got, is what I want to do. We did hit the Walmart, and we got all of our groceries, so we do not have to go back over the, yep. the thing. We're just going to stay here and enjoy ourselves sit here enjoy the campsite enjoy the peacefulness yes. this is why we travel this is what we love doing this is exactly the reason so once we leave here antelope island the next couple sites are going to be primitive yes. uh no connections or anything it's boondocking style yes. really so that's why i want to give our solar a test here and see how it does but that one's probably not going to have buffalo nope Bison. i doubt it I don't know what the difference is or if there even is one, but I'm going to use buffalo and you can use bison. We're bu you you we're like calling them buffalo. I That's... just think buffalo's cute. And to <laughs> me, they're really, really cute. It's one of my favorite animals on the planet. Yep. So. That was cool coming in. There was a bunch uh, of them as soon as we got onto the it island. It was, it was. And uh, there's a bunch of them out here. So there is a visitor center here too. It's up there, that red roof. And we'll be checking that out tomorrow so that we can learn more about the island, the history of it, the history of the animals that are here. They better have a buffalo t-shirt for me. I'm going to be upset. They are going to have a shirt for you. I guarantee it. Thanks, babe. Guaranteed. Thanks, babe. <laughs> All right. We'll we'll uh, we'll share some more with you guys of our, our camp here as we enjoy the next couple days in Antelope Island.
Okay, we're at the Antelope Island State Park Visitor Center. Really cool place. Abby is putting a couple of their stamps Ooh. in the boat. Look at that. That's very cool. That's great. And they have another one there. So I can put the date in. Very cool. Awesome. What is today? Fourth of April. Yep. Yeah, did you get it? 424. All right, hold her up. Nice job, babe. Way to go. We just stopped by the visitor center, got a stamp. Abby got her a couple souvenirs, and we're just enjoying the view up here at the top. So there's the causeway where we come in from. They have a, it's just a really nice viewpoint up here. And there's buffalo down there. Oh, you see some? Yeah. In the visitor center, they have uh, several books about how many species of animals are in here. I am shocked at how many. They have like 10 species of bats on this island. Yeah, we didn't even expect that. I had no that. idea. This place so they is have, really cool. They have uh, bison, obviously, the antelope, uh -huh. which uh, I, th I think that's proghorn. Yes. And then they do have bighorn sheep, mule deer, porcupines. Coyotes. And lots of birds. Lots of birds. There's millions of birds yeah, out here. Which is, this is definitely a birder's paradise. Yep. They have like a bird fest here in May yeah. also. So I can see there's a, there's a buffalo there. Yep. So we're on the north end and we've got a pretty good drive. We're going to take the drive down to the, uh, uh, I forget what it's called, the Gar Ranch. Yeah. Uh, it's a historical ranch. It was the first residence on the island in the, right around 1850 or so. Man, this is just so pretty. There's so much to look at. I mean, it's like every yep. direction you look, there's something kind of unique and different looking. This is really Yeah, cool. it's really beautiful. And do you hear that? Nice and quiet. It's just the birds. Yep. We're at the Island Buffalo Grill here on Antelope, Antelope Island State Park. I almost forgot where we were at. How could you? Well, we got it and decided to get one of their buffalo burgers. Buffalo burger. I've only had one of these one time and it's been a long time since I've had one. That's a pretty big burger. It is a big burger. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste test and see what it's like. I got mm. chicken fingers. It's delicious. Is it? Yep, it's good. Well, good stuff there. Of course it is. Buffalo burger here on Antelope Island State Park. <laughs> Look at that view. The mountains and the buffalo. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. They look happy and hungry. <laughs> this is pretty cool, isn't it? I'm not hungry because I just... You just ate one of those. I just oh, had some of so one of them. that's <laughs> Not to me. It was delicious. Man, that is so cool. I mean... That is a lot of them, isn't it? Yep.
Abby's got our veggies looking good for tonight's dinner. And we're just gonna cook it up here on the little hasty bake. It is a uh, lemon herb and Parmesan cheese. Yeah, these are delicious too. Yes, they are. These little foil pans fit perfectly on the little 250 Pro. Perfect. So we've been testing out our new battery. Oh yeah. What is this thing called? It's battery the, tower thing. It's a Blue Eddy <laughs> portable power station. Yes, so this thing has the wireless charging on the top, but it charges a uh, an iPhone yep. really fast. <laughs> so, so I'm at 11% and it'll be up to 50, 60% in probably 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, it's been really great. Yeah, it does pretty good. They have other sizes too. We were just talking about maybe getting the smaller one. That, that'll be an investment for like down the road. Another trip. I'd yeah. like to get one of those small ones that you can just like set there on the table. That's a little bit smaller to handle, a little bit more portable. This is a beautiful spot. Yeah, it's gorgeous out here. You look really cute over there. Thanks. What are you making? We are making a beer queso dip. Yeah, right? we are. But we're going to be... We are not doing anything. We're going to be smoking <laughs> it in are. the pit barrel, though. Yes, we are. You are. Thanks, babe. Just getting the, uh, the meat browned. A little easier to do it in here on this stove than outside. Plus, it's like... It's really very brisk It's outside. very cold. And a little cold. So yes. we'll do it here. Get all this ready in the cast iron. Set it down in the pit barrel and just let it smoke. Let it get hot. So we're out here on Antelope Island State Park, and what are we watching? We are watching the Ghost Adventures episode of Antelope Island. Yep. It's called, the episode is called Ghost Island, mm -hmm. and we saw this after they had uh, released it, but since we're now out here on the island, we wanted to go ahead and pull it up and watch it again. Abby do really doesn't remember much about the episode. I don't. So, oh, I was gonna say, you can see the vice back, the post vice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I just thought it was uh, really cool that we're at another location that Ghost Adventures were at. This is one of the shows that we love to watch, and this is the second location that we've got to visit that the Ghost Adventure crew has been to investigate. First one was Lost Furnace, correct, and the second one is now the Fielding Gar Ranch here on Antelope Island. So you guys ought to check that out. They're, uh, it's pretty interesting, the stuff that they're getting out there yeah. at, the, at the ranch. Totally candid moment for Abby. I had to wake her up. I was drinking my coffee. I heard a little bit of noise outside. I'm like, what is that? So I lifted the shade and it's snowing it's out there. and it's snowing. It was snowing and sleeting. And then I saw a buffalo right outside the campery. right here it was amazing
And now they're out there, and those two are like fighting, maybe, or one flirting. Was trying to, one was trying to get up on the other Ooh. one. So but. this is insanely beautiful, and I am really glad we got to see the buffalo so close. <laughs> This place is awesome. Yeah, it's really pretty. It is cold this morning. Yes, can, it is. <laughs> we got a little dusting last night. And um, I think over to our east, you can kind of see the storm over that way. Yep. What's blown through. So it was really, it was just great being able to finally see some yes. buffalo. I mean, they, they walked right across here, yeah. right on the other side of that road. And uh, so, and I, woke, awesome. so yeah. I woke Abby up from her, uh, <laughs> from her slumber. That was a totally great reason to wake me up. I knew that you would like that. And the snow looks so pretty out here. I'm going to go outside and see what everything's looking like. It looks a little cold out there. It, it oh. does. All right, let's see what it looks like outside here. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can get down these steps without falling and busting our face. A lot of sleet. I had to put a rock on the pit barrel lid yesterday because it was it was blowing off. It was so windy. Look at this. This feels pretty slick. Uh, maybe that sun will come up soon and start melting all this. We we're supposed to be leaving today. Certainly is pretty out here though. Well, we're gonna start getting all of our stuff packed up. I did a pretty good job yesterday. I, all I got left is the hasty bake and the pit barrel and the Starlink to put away. By the way, the Starlink has been doing fantastic on this trip. It has not failed us yet. Of course, we had a really great view of the sky here too, but we're really liking that benefit of having connectivity anywhere we are with the Starlink there. Well, it is certainly cold and beautiful out here at the same time, but we're going to begin packing up our Kodiak and moving on. We got to leave today and we're headed a little further west over into Nevada. We'll see you guys there. The sun has finally peeked out at us here, trying to, trying to get everything ready to go today. And uh, some of the buffalo have been working their way back over near us. Just a really beautiful sight. Abby's been really happy. She's been enjoying just sitting there watching them graze. 
this is why we travel. This is what we enjoy to see, new things, new experiences, new places, and seeing nature's beauty like this. finally needing our slide out topper and we don't have one. The top of the slide was packed with snow. Abby's doing the best she can to try to get some of it off. I've been up there trying to get it so we're just taking turns trying to get the snow here. Okay so we're leaving the campground and we have to go and do, a, um, do our dump but look what's right by the dump. Oh, he is right here. Hi, sweet <laughs> baby. That's awesome. That was the greatest dump that we've ever done out in the camper. What a great dump. You gotta love a good dump. You get, a, you get to have a dump with a good view. With a good view. <laughs> around nature with all the other animals. And a buffalo right next to us. Just, just <laughs> chilling, total vibe. Yep. This place is awesome. This was like one of my favorite places on earth now. Do I say that about everyone? Yes. yes, I think you. you but love. this one, legitimately. Well, this one was a little extra special because, yes. you know, you get you get the buffalo. Because I'm completely obsessed with buffalo. Yes, I am, and they're right here, and it's awesome. The day that we leave, we've seen a lot of buffalo up close. Yes. Look at these people walking out there to them. Yeah, I mean, just to get the shot, people. I don't know. You don't need to walk out there. You just go to the dump station. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I did see people uh, coming across here this morning riding horses. Yes. You had wondered if that's what it was, and as they got closer, it was you a group. Tell. It was probably about five or six people. On I horses. know that they have a couple of uh, horse 
uh, sites that you can book for your trailer and everything. So you can come out here and ride. That oh. would be amazing. And my sister-in-law, Twiggy, she would love this place. I sent oh, her yeah. a video this morning with the buffalo because she loves the snow. She loves animals. She would love this place. She would have a good time. You put a horse in there and she would just explode. <laughs> and so would I. Well, it looks absolutely beautiful with all the snow. Yeah, we didn't expect to get the uh, the snow shower here. No. I mean, it didn't even say it on our weather apps no. that we were going to be getting snow. I think it was just it just happened to pass over the island. Yeah. I mean, you like if you look over at the, I think that's Promontory Mountains over there. Not much don't, snow. Don't on look those. like there's any snow over there. Yeah. And you can't even really see. You can see the storm. That's definitely what that was or is. It is definitely very beautiful. We've had a beautiful morning. I prefer that we're at camp whenever this happens instead of having to break down and leave in the middle of, yes, because of we, uh, snow and ice. We, uh, we realized this morning as we were getting ready to pull our slide in that we do <laughs> not have a slide, uh, slide out topper, yep. which means that we had to uh, push snow <laughs> yep. off of it. This we got morning. most of it. We did, we did. So we'll see uh, what kind of problem that causes later, but hopefully we got most of it, it'll be okay. Man, this is awesome. I'm happy, babe. I know you are. Makes me happy to know that you're happy. Thank you, baby. There's some more bison down there by the road. This is definitely a beautiful place. I'm, I'll, I'm coming, we're coming back here. Are we? Yes, this was uh, totally epic for me. Well, there's a whole lot more to see in this area. This yes. was just yes. one little dot on the map. Yes. I mean, you got- This place is amazing. You it take has your tons pick. of things, yeah. But this, uh, this camp for me was especially lovely. Thanks, babe. Oh, you're very welcome.